Oh, uh, how's it going today, tubes? So, um, today we're going to do this dryer. Uh, check the pellet thingies in it. You know, remember these things I showed you there? And uh, see how they're looking. So, I got her loose there. And uh, we got a little bit of a freaking bucket here to catch the old ones as they're coming out. So that should work. Oh, that should work. So, uh, not too much to it. Just got to unscrew that cap there. And I've got a new uh, freaking uh, one of these things to put back on because that one's freaking rusted and stuff. It's hard to open for some reason now. So, this is a cheapy one to come with it, I guess. So, we'll put a little bit better one on over here, hopefully, and uh, we'll be looking good. So, let me just hurry up on the tripod here for a sec and uh, we'll dump those old pellets out. Alrighty, so this is kind of a pain in the arse, but uh, I'll get her. Lots of threads on this thing, that's for sure. Lots of fine threads. Holy. Got how long they were. Wow, really? Oh, well, that's not so good. There's your problem. Oh, that's right. There was uh, another dewy thingy in the middle here. Oh, freak. I think I got to take the uh, top cap off too and uh, get it out that way. So, hang on a sec here. Well, didn't help taking the top off. I guess you just rusted in here. I can't really remember what's in here now, but she's being a pig. Oh, it's coming, I think. Oh, man. Rusted, eh? Should have made this on a stainless steel figure, but... seen the uh, thingies fall out there, but uh, that was the thingies. So there's the, some of the thingies there, but I think there's a few more inside there somewhere. Where'd my beating stick go? Freak sakes, there it is. You can see how well they work, eh? Like the first ones that come out were like these guys, and they're all starting to disintegrate and stuff, you know, and breaking up, whatever. And then higher you get, the you know, better they're getting it. There's one that's still white almost. So yeah, that's uh, you know, yeah, they just fall apart. It's like sand. Yeah, they're junk. So this one here is probably good. I won't be able to crush it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, once they get just super logged with water, I guess that's it, eh? So, you know, that's pretty good. That's pumped a lot of friggin' air for me. So, let's have a look down the tube here now and uh, see. Uh, here we got a night shot. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cleanish, I guess. So you can see where they sit, too, right? So. Let's check up the other end too. Uh, night shot. Yeah, it's a bit cruddy in there, isn't it? But uh, I'll have to clean up that piece a bit, I guess. Yeah, hunk of stuff here. It's uh, probably should. Uh, 
Well, it'd be nice if I could sandblast it and paint it again, but I got my air compressor apart now, so I don't have any air. So well, that's always awesome, but uh, sure I can figure something out. Oh well, I figured what the frig. We just hooked her back up without the uh, stuff in her, so just for a quick blast day, I'm sure to be good. So you gotta keep uh, these things in somewhat of good shape, you know, because if these holes start to get bunged up, that's where your air goes through, right? So you gotta keep them fairly open and clean. So we'll give her a give her a blast of primer here. I don't have much left, but this is the good stuff. I like using this because it etches into the metal, right? Self etching primer. Good thing I can read because this thing would take forever. Holy freak. So yeah, let's uh, just give her some primer here and uh, we'll be good. Well, she's primed. That's going to go well to dry, so we'll have to uh, let him sit for a bit and uh, freaking dry up and then, uh, geez, we can start stuffing that back together. That'll be alright. Definitely going to kill two stones with one bird here. This is going to be awesome. Well, I got to get rid of the air and the compressor again and take that thing apart, so I'm like, what the frig? We'll freaking dry it and bleed it at the same time. Pretty, pretty smart, eh? Threw a little bit of black on her too, just for, for, for poops and giggles, you know. So uh, right now I'm just working on getting this uh, out of there. Put the new one in. Oh yeah. That's what I wanted to get out too, the other fitting too. Very good, very good. So we're all lined up, we're just gonna crank this on here. Nice and tight, we got the thread uh, sealant tape on. Uh, gotta give her some pretty good cranking though because I'm doing both at once here. Oh, freaking wrench slipped. Oh! Oh, she fell out of the freaking place. Oh, that's not very good. That's probably pretty good anyways. I can crank up a bit more on the thing there if I have to, so. Uh, try to hold her like that, I guess. Let's see if I can get her this way. That's pretty good. Yeah, so freaking pipe fitting 101 with Bill's T Max, eh? Frig, I hate pipes. Well, you can sure tell the difference between the bottom cup and the top cup, eh? And that's the top, I've done nothing to her, and this one I cleaned. Scraped a bunch of crap off that was in there and stuff, so. Yeah, you can see how much drier it is at the top compared to the bottom. Just rots it all out, so that's awesome. So there's a little comparison for you. There's there's the old ones and you know there's the nice new ones. So these ones are all nice and shaped and square and these ones are all, you know, going to freaking crap. So they uh yeah, there's another one scrap. So yeah, but they do a good job, I'll freaking tell you that. But uh 35 bucks for the little package. Doesn't uh take long to burn them up. Okay, so from the magic of uh time lapse and uh the next day magic of the editor we're, we're dry we're good to go so freaking right so now I gotta figure this out I think I'm gonna need two hands but uh, we'll uh, stuff you on the tripod here I guess okay well, I even cleaned out inside there a bit too and uh, still a bit tough going in but uh, I think she'll work I think she'll work Uh, 
thread stuff on there too, you know, just to uh, to uh, keep her from maybe being so crappy for the next time. And uh, you don't have to seal the threads on these because they've got uh, like uh, I can show you. I got this, they gave me some spares, but it's like a freaking uh, uh, plasticky sort of rubbery sort of sealy sort of thing, right? So. So that's going to be awesome. That's as far as that's going to go, but I'm, oh, that'll work. That'll work. But, uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, grab a seal here to show you. So they give you these little... I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not, but... Uh, they give you these little things. They fit inside, and then they mush against the thing there. And the, I've never had one leak, so... Here's hoping. Here's friggin' hoping. So, how are we looking here now? Should be good. Um, oh, night shot, where are you? So, yeah, you can see the dewy down there now. Down there inside, so we'll get the friggin' pellets and uh, we'll uh, stuff them in and uh, that's about it. Okay, pellets. Let's see any few hundred thousand freaking thousand PSIs. Oh, already lost one. Come on, no fighting. Just get in there. No fighting. Fighting not allowed. Freak sakes. There. And we'll find that one we dropped. Stuff him in. And uh, let's have a look inside now. And there we go. We're all freaking full of pellets. So that'd be awesome. And we'll put the top cap on. And there we go, tubes. We're freaking good. So, uh, there seemed to be a bit of dusty stuff in there, so what I'm going to do is just take this off. And uh, make sure this is closed. And we're going to fire it up here and uh, let her chooch out the thing there for a minute. Contact! <laughs> That's good, get that done again, and uh, I guess those pellets were getting pretty bad, they're pretty much soaked, you know, and it's amazing how much of a job they do for you, though. Uh, you can really notice it when they start to uh, get old and crappy like that, because you see more moisture coming out of the end of the guns or whatever, you know, or if you're using your blowgun thing and you see that coming out, so you know she's time. But you probably should empty that valve every day, which I generally don't, I do it maybe once a week. But... Um, you know, that's, you have to dump all that air out then again, right, to, to clean it out, so. But we should maybe try, try the opening here and see how she works. See if she's, uh, she's, she's good. Yeah, seems good. A little bit easier than the other one, that's for sure. So, yeah, that's uh, freaking pretty awesome. 
So yeah, we should go out and do a, a bit of a cold start on the old Jeep there because it's about minus 16, I think, out right now. So I uh, got the key here, so let's go see if she'll even turn over. Holy friggin' cold. Yeah, this door will even open. Oh, geez, it will too. Well, that's all right. Let's get the key in here. And uh, she'll definitely need some of this today. I bet you it won't even go. I bet you she won't even go. Ready, set. Oh boy. Cranking though, surprising. Pump that fuel back up. Oh, wow. That's surprising. I didn't think she was going to go. she went but uh, it'd be nice to get some bit better weather for uh, fixing these brake lines on this thing we can freaking do that seal too we can freaking drive this thing again you know like what the frig that's a hold up hey eh? like holy jumping get at her so I had a thought to uh, we were opening up these kinder eggs and stuff and some of them are like pretty stupid eh? but you never know what you're gonna get right it's part of the song you never know what you're gonna get and it's a piece of you know but uh, <laughs> I uh, think we should save the crappy ones up and then we'll fire them all out of the freaking potato gun. Whoa, just about lost her there. Freaking ice. Uh, we'll save them up and we'll fire them all out of the potato gun as like a freaking shotgun blast or something, you know. That'd be pretty awesome. So the river's just starting to freeze up. It's so freaking cold out here. She's just bleeding over the top there a wee bit. But you can see like a crack further down, eh? That's pretty cool. Holy crap, that's cold. So anyways, let's go uh, rip a kinder open. Is that the one? Mm -hmm. Let's open this one up. What did you get today, Dilly? Is it something stupid? We'll fire it by the potato gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh no, not another. Water soaker in thingy. Nope. Oh boy. What is Holy cow, we're gonna have to get the instructions in. I think I know what it is. Yep, it's what I think it is. Holy man, they sure give you lots of stuff in this one, eh? And Laura has it upstairs. Oh boy. It's one of these. Oh, let's figure it out. Time. Um, mm. yeah. yeah, they go on the front thing here, but oh, we kind of yeah. screwed it already with this thing. We have to pull this off again, I guess. Yeah. There. Nice. Now this has got to go back inside there. Mm -hmm. And then we can fly. Yeah, it's supposed to be like a little airplane or something, isn't yeah. it? Okay, well, sort of flies like a stone, <laughs> but it's sort of a neat toy. Some of them have been pretty stupid, but that one's kind of neat. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? I think the big one's supposed to be on the back. Oh, did we mess it up? Yeah, you're right. Oh well, same idea. 